Hello YouTubes! Welcome back Hawk fam. You guys see we have the tree up. I'm real happy with it. All the ornaments are on. Uh, most of them are store bought. And deep down I'm kind of a traditional guy. I prefer handmade ornaments. Stuff that we can pass down to my kiddos and keep around for years on the tree. Uh, just like our dead mother made for us. My little herpes glitter uh, resin ornament she made for us. So stuff like that I love. So today I want to use some polymer clay. And I want to continue that tradition on, and I want to build some evil gingerbread man. The tree has no gingerbread man on it. If you got a black evil Christmas tree, you got to have some black evil gingerbread men. So let's go to the bench, make some gingerbread men. Okay, YouTubes, we got us some tools. We got us a gingerbread man uh, little cookie cutter that April gave me. We're going to use this as the basis for cutting out our little uh, gingerbread guys. And to cut those guys out, we're going to use... Sculpey. I've got original, which is a terracotta color and kind of soft and uh, it's like a moisture clay. And I've got the original Super Sculpey. Um, I'm going to mix these two together. I've got probably a little less than half a brick here. Hopefully that's enough. I've got about half a brick here. So hopefully by the time we mix these two colors together, uh, we should get a light brown color. That's the color of uh, the gingerbread men we want to make. So I'm going to go ahead and cut probably two even bricks out of this. Mix it 50-50, I'm gonna condition it. When we come back, we're gonna start stamping out some uh, some little gingerbread guys. Okay, YouTubes, so it's been about 20 minutes. I've just been kind of hand mashing this stuff and kind of uh, conditioning it. It's half Super Sculpey original, and then half of, the, uh, half of the Super Sculpey, and then half the original. And it's basically the same color as the, uh, the original Sculpey. It's a lot softer, kind of mushier, so uh, I think we're ready to start rolling this thing out and uh, pop on some gingerbread guys out with our uh, little cookie cutter there. But it's nice and soft in my hands, kind of stains your hands a little bit, so be prepared for that if you're gonna do that. Uh, it looks like the clay's holding up, which is good, so I'm gonna mash this out by hand a little bit, and then I gotta find some kind of rolling utensil, since I don't have one. Uh, let's do, ooh, okay, let's try this. You guys like the pumpkin pulp? I love the pumpkin pulp. Fellow Hoosiers of mine make great props. Go check them out. They also have a channel on YouTube, uh, Pumpkin Pulp on YouTube. So one of these days I got to get me a damn rolling pin. Sorry, pumpkin pulp. Hey, that's not too bad. I'm digging that. All right, folks. I'm going to go ahead and roll this thing out to probably, yeah, maybe a quarter inch, maybe a little thinner. I'm going to make me a big pie. And when I come back, we're going to start cutting some gingerbread men's out. Okay, YouTubes. Thanks to Pumpkin Pulp, we got a nice little uh, flat pancake here, a little pie crust, whatever. We're gonna take our little gingerbread man, I'm gonna start in the middle and see if I can get these things out uh, with kind of like about a quarter inch thickness is what I'm kind of hoping for. Oh, look at that, kind of cool. That's not too bad, I'm happy with that. All right, so we got one guy here. I'll stay in the middle, pop another guy out. Okay, cool, they come out clean. So far, so good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and mash this and fold it and see how many little gingerbread guys I can pop out of this thing before we start working on them. All righty, YouTubes. Worked out pretty good. Went ahead and made a second little rollout. I got 15 men's all together. We can save this for other pieces. It's still nice and soft. So we got 15 men's to play with, or ladies. So their heads are a little big. We can always stretch them out, do whatever we want. So let's take uh, some over here. Let's start up so we're not mashing the other guys together. Boom, we'll start with this guy. Actually, let's start with this guy. This little guy was missing an arm, so I thought, oh, that's kind of cool. Let's go with him. We'll save our excess back. Go dig through my tools. A lot of times, if I'm using something bigger and I want to use, like, something's cut off and I want to use, uh, I'll just use a straw. But this McDonald's straw is pretty damn big. So, usually I'll go with something like this. And I'll just say, let's stretch his arm out a little bit. There we go. Okay, then we'll just go whoop, cut that off, cut that off, whoop, cut that off. All right, cool, he's lost an arm. I'm already liking that. All right, so let's go ahead and stretch him out a little bit, smash in his head, and you can do the same thing. Go to the top of his head, and we'll just say, hey, maybe somebody took a bite out of this guy already. Oh, it's so easy. I mean, you guys can do anything you want with this stuff, and it's super soft. I mean, so I've got a uh, bunch of accessories I pre-made up. 
So let's go ahead and tweak this guy and uh, let's see what you can do with them. I'll show you the accessories. Okay, YouTubes, I have got a bunch of pre-made accessories. I've got a little pumpkin head, I got a little skull face, I've got some bones to stab into some arms, made some candy canes, some peppermints, uh, some buttons. I got a whole bunch of teeth down here I can use to poke in their mouths. I either got some mouths or some lungs. I did some little bitty bows of skulls on them, a little pumpkin mouth. So I pre-baked all this stuff so I don't mash it down when I stick it on these guys. So I'm going to use all these accessories and we're going to take them back over here and start uh, making some gingerbread guys. Okay, YouTubes. So for this little cretin, I picked out a couple of eyeballs, the little pearl white ones. Stab one right in here and just smash it down on the clay. I got them a little mouth that I picked out. Actually, that's a tongue. Let me use a mouth. Uh, should we give him a big mouth? Let's give him a big mouth. Just stab that in there. I got a little bone that's been uh, kind of broken off at the end. Can you focus, camera? Can you focus? Okay, these are too small. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and jam this in here. So it looks like he's missing his arm. Got tore off. I got a little toothpaste to stick in there. So I'll put a little toothpaste around his mouth. I'll give him some lips. And then I got these copperhead BBs. And I thought, hey, I can use some, make some buttons out of these. There we go. So I'll take a couple of copperheads. Poke them right into a center section. And then we'll still decorate these later after they come out of the oven. Okay, YouTubes. I think I got this guy basically done. I just used the same little tool and I pinched off some of his feet. And then I added a little foot over here. I slimmed him up a little bit by pinching. I went ahead and brushed him all with clay softener. Although I don't want him super smooth because gingerbread sort of has that porousy texture. So I'm just going to take this little uh, brass brush and I'm going to tap his whole face, eyebrows, everything. So it has that gingerbread texture, so it'll really hold the black wash and these guys are done before we decorate them. Cause, oh yeah, we're gonna decorate them. We're gonna ice them, but in a different way. So I'm gonna put this guy on the tray, on the foil. He's ready to go in the oven and we'll jump on to the next one. Okay, YouTubes, I wanna do a little zombie version. So uh, I grabbed a green eye, a couple of ribs. I made a little sore plexus and I got a little uh, red cutout. So I'm going to do the face first. I'll just take this and we'll make his eyes like right around there or so. We'll leave this eye socket set uh, empty. I want to deep set his eyes. I'll put this little green one in there. You guys, man, you can mix and match. You can make all kinds of accessories early on. It's just harder to make them when uh, you have soft clay because if they're not baked there's a better chance of smashing them so i'm going to stick that in there i'm going to get make this sort of like his little rib cage area so i'm going to press that down okay it's my little outline so now we just got to kind of mash that into the clay kind of recess it down in there again just make it look like it's torn there we go and again, it ain't got to be perfect. The nastier they look, the better. So, we're going to go ahead and glue this in. It don't take much, just a little bit. So we'll put that in there. Mash it down in there. And again, you just use any tool, it don't matter. Uh, use this one. Make a little ragged on the edges. Could also even look like his lung down there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Like I said, the raggedy, the better. The more little evil uh, these little cretins look, the better. Okay, so now we'll go in, we'll glue in some ribs and his little sore plexus. Like that there, a little over there. And the glue will turn transparent in the oven so it's not a big deal. Okay, let's we'll stick that in the middle. It's just where it should be, right around there. And then let's uh, brush that glue out. All right, let's stick some ribs in there. If they're too big, I can always easily just cut them back with the uh, uh, razor blade. That's probably the top one. 
Just stab it in. And these little tiny guys. Alright. Alright, so he's got sort of an exposed rib cage. I'm going to go ahead and shorten these ribs. I'm going to play with him a little bit. And uh, i got to put a mouth on him yet. So I'm going to play with him for a couple minutes. We'll come back and take a look at him before we stick him on the tray. Okay, YouTube. That's our little zombie. He's done. Put his little rib cage in there. I gave him a little green tongue. Um, just going to go ahead and poke him a little bit to make those little uh, pores and stuff that the gingerbread has. Again, I went ahead and used a little wire brush and tapped him to kind of make those... Uh, Little pores open up to look like he's been freshly baked. And I'm just kind of tweaking him now, poking holes in his face. I gave him a little rotten mouth, a couple of teeth. So I think I'm going to slide him over the tray and we'll move on to the next one. Okay, YouTube. I think I'm going to make a little skeleton looking guy. I'm going to use one of these little sore plexuses, some ribs. I got this little skeleton mask I made. Put a little glue on there. And then we'll tuck these guys down where they got to be. And I'll trim them out, maybe put some bone legs on them or something. I don't know yet. Okay. Let's see. Where is my glue brush? Screw it. Okay. Let's smash this guy down in there. Okay. Stab his little sort of plexus in there. Right down in there. We'll poke his ribs in. Let's see this one next. And this one. This top one. Alright. I'm going to tuck these in there. I think maybe I'll even chop his legs off and put two little stumpy bones at the bottom. And then I'll put a little uh, little hand on them, make some little thumbs on them. So I'm gonna tuck these guys in, I'm gonna finish him up, and we'll come back, we'll start another one. Okay, you two, we've got this little skeleton. I'm gonna put him on the pan, and I think we're gonna do a little, uh, a little pumpkin guy next. We'll do a little pumpkin gingerbread man. All right, you two, I got our little pumpkin head. Got a couple of buttons, we'll do some buttons on this guy. Go ahead and roughen where his button should be. Do that for his mask. Now I want to put a mouth on this guy and make some, maybe some underbite teeth on him too. So I'm going to go ahead and just smash that guy into place. Alright. Smash his little buttons in. Again, these were super easy, man. You just roll a little ball of clay. You smash it down with your finger. And then you take a tiny little, uh, little, tiny little ball stylus and just poke your little buttonholes. So man, these things are super easy to pop out. These are all just of orange polymer clay. So I think I'm going to dig out his mouth a little bit. And I want to give him some kind of human tooth underbite. Make him look extra gnarly. And then when we decorate him later on, we'll put some little orange stripes down on him and stuff. Let me see if I can get a couple of teeth for this guy. We'll poke in some teeth. Ah, oh, these are so freaking tiny. Alright. There's one. That. Alright, this is probably going to be a while. Alright, we're getting there. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and work on this guy, get him done, and we'll jump on to another one and uh, start filling up the pan and get these things ready to go in the oven. Alright, little pumpkin trick-or-treater is done. Put him on the pan. Alright, let's do a missus. I got a little uh, bow for her hair. I got her a little uh, belt. Let's see what else we can throw on her. Uh, let's use these eyes. They look kind of kind of spooky. Alright. I think we'll stretch her out a little bit, thin her up. Let's do her hair. Let's uh, put some hair on her. There's some little curls. 
There we go. Something like that. Give her a little bob. All right. All righty. Just kind of work that back in. Okay, it's kind of cool. Maybe we'll do the same thing, give her a little skirt or something like that. Yeah, that could almost be like the hem of her skirt. We'll do that. Okay, let's give her some eyes. Maybe like a little surprised expression. Okay. Something like that. Haven't figured her mouth out yet. Put a little glue on there. Bacon bond. Come on. Alright, little dab's all you need. Alright, let's poke her eyes in there. Let me use her just white pearl clay with a little dot of red in there. That's it. Tuck those in there. Sink them in. All right, let's put a little bow on. Give the missus a little bow. All right. Cut in and make her little hemline. Just take some of this away, and that'll thin out her legs. We'll set this guy there. I'll make her a little dress up. I gotta put a mouth on her. So uh, I'm gonna deck her out. When we come back, we'll jump on another one. All right, guys. Here's the missus. She's all done. She's got a big old slash across her throat. We'll fill it in with some blood later. Give her some little pointy shoes. She's holding a candy can. Got some little cheruby cheeks. So she's ready. I'm gonna go ahead and make up the bunch of these guys using what's left of the accessories. I'll make the whole pan and I'm gonna show you those before we put them in the oven. Okay, YouTubes, we are done. We are gonna go on the oven at 275 degrees. I'm gonna go probably 20 minutes. I only need 15, but uh, since I've added all the extra accessories and stuff, I wanna make sure I give it some extra time to bake. And maybe if I can even try and burn some of these little guys a little bit to uh, make them that much more creepier, uh, I'm gonna do that. So we're going to take these guys in the house. I'm going to slide them in the oven just like this. I'm going to put no top or no foil over it. Slide it in the rack. 20 minutes. We're going to come back. We're going to black wash all these guys. I'm going to show you how we're going to decorate them and do the icing without using any paint. Okay, YouTubes. We are out of the oven. I've got two little blanks I did for Savage. She can decorate those up however she wants. Uh, next, we're going to move on to black wash. I went ahead and just took some acrylic black paint. I usually go uh, one third of black, maybe a little less. So about two thirds of water and a little drop of dish soap and that's usually my formula that works pretty good. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and black wash all these guys to bring out those little details and those little uh, little pits and stuff like that. So I'm just going to squeeze this into a great stuff lid. That's the best thing to work out of. Let's see. Slide all these guys down. We'll start with Mr. Candy Cane right here. Got my rag. Alright. I'm just going to plaster this guy. I'm going to hit everything. Eyeballs, I'm going to blast right over the mat. I don't care. These rinse off real easy. And this make it look like it was cooked and baked. So, got him plastered up. Now we just go through and bring out some details on that guy. Alright, that's not too shabby. All right, I'm going to go ahead and black wash all these guys, and then I'm going to go ahead and put a piece of twine uh, right through their heads. Most of them I got a hole right in their head. Uh, this guy, the little hanging body missing his head, I got one in his foot. He'll just dangle by his foot. So I'm going to go ahead and black wash all these guys. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and put some twine in them, and then we're going to come back. I'm going to show you how to decorate these things without paint. Okay, YouTubes, we are done. My little filthy baker's dozen is all uh, set up. Everything's black washed. I went ahead and ran some uh, ribbon and nylon rope and everything. The uh, twine was not my friend this time. I couldn't make it go through the holes without, without fraying. So uh, I want to get these guys finished up. The black wash looks great. Now we're ready to hang them on the tree. The last little detail is the final paint. And for that, I want to use this. This is dimensional fabric paint. It's awesome stuff. It leaves a little raised area that'll look just like cake icing. 
You let it dry for, I think, five, six hours. It takes about 72 hours to fully dry, but uh, we'll lay them flat. We'll finish up our little details with this stuff, and it'll look great. This whole package, I think, cost me $12 for the six bottles, so about $2 a piece. I got this at Michael's, but I think Hobby Lobby carries it, too. So let's crack it open. Let's finish off these gingerbread, man. Get them on the tree. Okay, YouTube, you're shaking up the green. I'm going to start with our little pumpkin guy. I think what I want to do is just kind of fill in the little uh, little bodysuit lines that I made. You can see I can just fill this trench right in like that. Oop, go back. All right. Oop, a little more. And if you're freehanding, boy, you're going to have to be good because this stuff will... Uh, blob up really easy. When this stuff dries, it'll look just like icing. Now they say, when you're using it, leave it flat for four hours. So that must be the time it takes to tack up and start to cure itself. So I'll just go right off the little suit. All right. I do want to put a little bit of yellow in his eyes, right there in his little uh, triangles that I got molded in there. So I'm gonna take the yellow, I got it squeezed out. I think this will look nice and bright in there. All right, do a little on this side. And try not to touch that with my fingers. All right, I think we'll call this guy done. I'll grab another gingerbread and we'll move on. We'll slide him off to the side somewhere. Let's see, this guy is kind of cool. Uh, we can do some little designs on him. I definitely want to put something in his eyes. So I'm thinking maybe I'll use this same yellow and put a couple of dots in his eyes to bring him out to uh, a brighter color. So let's do this. Let's drop it right in there. Drop that right in there. And then we'll give him some little designs. Maybe since he's got the red buttons and the green tongue, we'll go with the green design. Get this little leg torn off. Okay. We'll do some little green stripies here. Some little green stripies here. And if you want, you can fill in the button covers. You can add, add stuff to the mouth. Okay, we'll set him to the side. Alright, let's do the missus. She's pretty cool. Okay, Mrs. Uh, let's see. Let's add a little bit of ruby, ruby red to her cheeks. Just a little dot. Let's put a little bit of white in her eyes. And then they should instantly pop. Bing. Just like that. Boom. All right, guys, you get the idea fabric paint it'll raise up it'll dry like that it'll shrink down a little bit but the more thicker you put it on the the heavier it'll be and it will, it'll stay uh, like a higher raised area so i'm going to go ahead and go through all these guys and tweak them and knock them out and when we get done this will be dry we'll be hanging these bad boys on the tree okay youtubes we are done we've got these guys all painted out with no paint we just use the old uh, tulip dimensional fabric paint super cool stuff and there's no paint on it. You have to individually paint on little uh, zigzags or bow ties or blood. Uh, I'm really happy with how they turn out. They all look pretty creepy. A little skeleton guy. He's pretty cool. We got little Karen right here. With her throat cut, bleeding down her little uh, dress. I got this little guy who uh, looks sort of like Sam a little bit. I made him sort of a scarecrow. I just took the same burlap fabric and rolled it right into the clay to get that little uh, that little texture and put some patches on him. Got a little head hunter. I thought he was really cool. The head turned out real good. And he doesn't balance too awkward either. So he'll look great on the tree. We got uh, Candyman here. Got some sugar in his tank. I thought he was pretty funny. But uh, overall, I'm happy with him. Got our little uh, little pumpkin man. And this camera, come on camera, focus. There we go. So I'm pretty happy with how they all turned out. We didn't have to paint anything. Like I said, this stuff's been sitting for 24 hours. So it's nice and uh, nice and dry. It leaves that nice little raised texture. And I mean, like I said, you can do blood right down the eye. And it almost works as a glue, too. So, I mean, that dimensional fabric paint is awesome. So let's go throw these guys on the tree, and we'll take a look at them. All righty, guys. We got our gingerbreads man loaded on the tree. 
I think they look pretty awesome. Got them scattered around. Just added Frankenstein up there today. Pretty happy with him. So we got all the little creepy gingerbread guys on the tree. Okay, YouTubes, we're done. Our little evil gingerbreads men are all over the tree. Um, I'm really happy with how they turned out. It was super easy. Mixing the clay worked okay. Um, and all we did was decorate with the dimensional fabric paint. Super cool stuff, like they carried at Michael's and Hobby Lobby. So you don't have to paint little tiny intricate details. But I'm happy, we got a bunch of little cretins on the tree. Maybe next year we'll make some more or not. Um, it was a fun project, and I think anybody can do it. It's great for the kids to do, too. So, uh, hey, if you guys get a chance, go check out my Brothers in Arms, uh, Dave at the Weird Kids Show, and Vic over at Monster Misfits, guys. We're doing creepy Christmas projects, and after Christmas is over, you know, we're going to get right back to Halloween. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys make your own little creepy gingerbread, and share my cobwebs and candlesticks on, uh, on a Facebook page. Come show us your creepy Christmas stuff. So, uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Jeez, that's a big hammer. What's that for, cobwebs? Oh, the hammer? You want to see? Don't do it, cobwebs. Don't.